the first job you ever had? Huh? The first job you ever had? Working in a Valley Theater and Hatch, a projectionist. Oh, really? <laughs> A projectionist. Huh? A projectionist. Yeah. Yeah. That's now, true. did you drive from Hillsboro to Hatch? No, no we was, I was living. We was living down there, and so that's what I did. So uh, then, what? What came next after the? Uh, well, the driving the next uh, job was probably driving a bulldozer out in Orange White Sands, driving a bulldozer in White Sands, and uh, that's when I got drafted in. Uh, no, I say watch a Harlem and Air Base party. Well, when did you start becoming a, a I don't know what you'd call it, a, a dynamite expert? A dynamiter? Yeah. With, with my dad. Uh, and I did a lot of work with my dad, you know. But we started shooting and blasting that road from North Porch over to Cave Creek. I guess when I was 21, I guess. Oh. I get mixed up between 21 and 18. What was the scare? I think I was 21. <laughs> That's all right. It's only two years. <laughs> what was the scariest thing that ever happened to you when you were working with dynamite? What's that? What was the scariest thing that ever happened to you when you were working with dynamite? I, I really didn't have, uh, handling the dynamite, I never had any really, really. The, the scariest thing that happened to me concerning uh, in the mining field uh, was, was falling down a, a stope that falling down a stope with my blow over 25 feet. That's the most, that's the scariest thing I had in my life. I, I, I didn't it. understand what you said you had. I fell down an old stope with the bulldozer. Oh, he <laughs> dropped. The, your, mind is, your brain is not computed <laughs> to be flying in the air with the bulldozer, let me tell you. And you were riding it down, and when you <laughs> hit, you really jarred your back, didn't oh, well, you? Well, I broke the seat I was sitting in. And, uh, and all the way down, I didn't, you know, I didn't know when I was going to stop. For some reason, I thought it was going to be 90 feet, and I thought I was dead. What I thought, and I, I, I shouldn't be, uh, forgive me. <laughs> I, I, I should be. I should be talking about this. Uh, uh, all I could think about was uh, uh, how, when I was going to hit. You know, you know, the scariest. Uh, and I thought, I just hope that. Uh, oh, here. Yeah, okay. it's coming. Here's what I thought. I said, you've, you've gotten by a lot of times in your life, the day's it. You're going to find out in a few minutes whether the preachers have been lying or telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> now what year was that, Sonny, when you drove, when you rode your, when you rode, you rode your, your bulldozer 25 feet? <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, I don't know. I was about, I was about 50 years old, I guess. Uh, so about 1988. Yeah, something. Like I that. thought it was in the 80s. Yeah. I, I thought we, I, I thought I remember hearing yeah, about 86, that. 86, 80, 80, something, something, like that. something in there, yeah. yeah. Did you start going to church after that? Hmm? Did you start going to church after that? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> now you said your dad was a preacher. Did he? My pre granddad. Your granddad. Did he preach here at the Baptist Church? He's a Methodist. Oh, a Methodist. A Methodist. And did he preach down here on the corner of Austin? I don't know what he did. I think when he time he moved to Hillsborough area, he quit preaching. I think he probably a Sunday school teacher. Probably he, he could he could preach. Uh, did Did he ever tell you that that the the um, bell that's in the Methodist Church down here was a rescued bell from the San Marshall Flood. I don't know anything about Nothing. that. Nothing. What was that San Marshall Flood? The 30s, wasn't it? Or one in the 20s and one in the 30s. I think it was probably the one in the 20s because I think they built this Methodist Church in 1929 and in the morning when it rings it has the most beautiful sound so it's Still it's nice to see the people that. to church and mm -hmm. reminds people to come to church so it would have been neat if your dad, grandfather would have, have uh, I don't know. preached uh, there. Uh, this, uh, my, my mother and her family, they were, they were all Baptists, and my dad's that side. 
Methodist. Methodist. I think that's probably when you were in your wars. They just didn't see eye to eye. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is a job, job or a hobby, but What's tell that? us. I don't know if this is a job or a hobby. Tell us about your your taking pictures of uh, of for postcards and for, so, for petroglyphs. Yeah. yeah. My petroglyph career. It started after I started taking. I went down to uh, to Nuka Mountain, and uh, I was going to show a friend of mine my favorite petroglyph. And uh, somebody broke, stole it, they chipped it out, and it's gone. And I made a vow right then I'd take a picture of every petroglyph in New Mexico. And uh, I didn't realize when I made that statement, and I laid, then I said, well, if I do that, maybe i get good enough that somebody might buy, buy some from me and i make enough to make expenses. And uh, I didn't realize how that, that whole little one, one uh, 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 statement and one uh, uh, ambition to do that. I'm not saying the right word, but, but I would change my whole life. And, and it really, really changed my life. And, and, and what I do, it, it gives me something to get up for now, you know. Mm -hmm. And in the mind and the mind and world for small individuals, for for small operations, I mean, is over. That's all. You know? yeah. Too much money. You know? and, uh, just yeah, I have one of your. Uh, uh, it's a painting of uh, one of your petroglyphs, the the Coco Pilly one. Here's here's your here's your some of the pictures of your calendars that you do. You sell your calendars along with selling your artwork. You sell postcards. Yes. So you do a number of different things and here. I have, and I have a book too. That you and I'm really proud of my book. But I, right now I gotta gotta get you know get it to print. I gotta get it printed again. You know. I'm, uh, but that's that's my new life and the whole and I'm really enthused about it and it's uh, uh, I just um, that, that's what I want to do now. It's something that you can be very proud of. Yeah, it's, it's something a... I really uh, want to pursue and keep going as long as I can. Now your big fish here was that the one down at Tunuku? Then what? At Tunuku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that one down there. And the the Tunuku is that huge volcanic mound that is across from the Border Patrol check station. Yeah, on, on, on the east, on the east right, across the river. Yeah. And that is a uh, and that was a that was a very sacred site to which culture? Do you have any idea which culture no, that was but, there? No, but you know all all. All, all certain mountains have all kinds of ledges, like the Kapow Mountains has all these ledges. But that mountain, the Nuka Mountain, has all these ledges too. And, and one of them is, and I don't know where this, see the, the government calls that San Diego Peak, but the people around that's called it Tanuka. And, uh, and, uh, and I don't know how come there's a difference there. But the one legend is, the, these, these early day uh, uh, settlers stopped there and there the Indians were Indian chief was living there and uh, they asked him said can we stay here and he said yes <clears throat> you can stay here in the in the, in the river that then were probably pretty close to the mountain and not and they had moved the river over since uh, then uh, he said you can stay here as long as you want to and you'll be safe nobody will bother you and then and then the, the, old, the old man left for a few days, and while he was, while he was gone, his son murdered that family. And when the old man came back, he said, you murdered your people, and he murdered his own son. He, he executed his son. He said, I, you, I, <coughs> and he said uh, I gave him a word, they'd be all right, and, and you broke it. So that's, a, that's a one legend there, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Speaking of legends, is there anything you can tell us about the Latham Sykes War? <laughs> no, the more I hear about it, the more confused I am. 
And I, I just don't want to get, really get into it, to tell the truth. <laughs> That's a good political answer on that one. <laughs> now that's really being a politician. There you go. That's right. Okay, let's let's now that we've that we've we've busted out on that one. Let's go back to the Tunuku Mountain. The and walking that mountain, I've noticed there's a lot of crystals up there, and there's a lot of green type rock up there. Have you ever looked up there? Now this is talking from your mining experience. What kind of mines were up there at one time? You know, I'd like to know. I think that I think that one mine up there looked like a flow rod mine. You know, uh, uh, I mean the uh, flow rod, but I mean it's. Uh, uh, my brain just went to, went to, the green rock. Uh, Floor spar. Floor spar. And it's kind of greenish. Yeah, I think I think it's probably a floor spar mine. And then and then uh, uh, but there's some some big mines in that mountain and I really don't know what they're mining, you know, to tell the truth. Yeah, uh, but I, that one dump I walked up to, I, I said, I bet this is a floor spar mine. You know. What would they use floor spar for if they mined it? Because it looks like they're the current mining. Steel, huh? the hardened steel. The hardened steel. Hardened steel. <clears throat> uh, okay. And that's a and that that is a volcanic plug, just like Elephant Butte is a volcanic plug. Okay. Where it pushed up and yeah. then it spewed off. You can see where the cone was spewing off. What facing, be facing the north, right? Okay. I don't. I know there's a lot of really beautiful agate walking up when you walk up toward the petroglyphs. Have you seen that agate there? Big, big slab of beautiful, beautiful agate. It's a beautiful walk up there, but I understand that, of course, I know that I have one large picture that you took of a rattlesnake, and there's a lot of rattlesnakes on the petroglyphs heading that way, which would tell you that the snakes liked it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any other questions you would like, like us to cover? Is there something you want to say? Tell us a favorite story that you like to tell. A favorite story. I just, I just told a favorite story this year. Let's see if I can think of. Mm. Well, I, I'll tell one little story. <laughs> this isn't a real story, but I, I think Clay kind of Thomas told me this. And <clears throat> this is in the old days when the dirt road and body model T's, you know, going through Hillsborough. This little boy sitting there by the road <clears throat> said, uh, Hey there, son, what's the name of this town? Hillsborough. What's the population? Hillsborough is all I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just learned that. That's neat. Well, thank you, Sonny, for spending a, spending a morning with us. We appreciate it. <laughs>